Hello everyone and welcome to part two of how I paint my fair skin tone babies and we're going to start right where I left off in part one and if you would like to see part one I have a link on the upper right hand corner. Anyway I have done my three layers of neutralizing color and the final has been baked and now we're ready for layer four and here is layer four and you can definitely see how the baby is looking a lighter and I am not going to bake the layer four. I'm actually going to work and do layer five. So here is the baby with five layers of neutralizing color and I'm actually going to bake the kit now. There were a couple of people that commented in the last video and asked how I was able to fit the bottom torso into my new wave oven. And here is a small clip on that. Um, I did have to bend the vinyl at the knees just a tiny, tiny bit to make um, the whole torso fit, but really it fits in there very, very nicely. So I wanted to show that. And I also wanted to point out that the torso does have to bake two different times, um, one laying on its back and then the other one laying on its tummy, just to make sure that the paint is baked thoroughly and um, so that the paint will not rub off. Now I'm going to do something that some of you might heard of and some of you might have not, but I'm going to mix some paint into my thinning medium and I'm doing this to allow the lighting process to be a little bit faster. I've noticed that when I do this, the kit lightens up a lot. And then after this, I still do have to add a little bit more neutralizing layers, but I feel like the process goes a lot faster than if I keep neutralizing the doll without the thinning medium. Typically, I mix my thinning medium with the paint like in a spare jar or um, a palette, but for the purposes of this video and so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, I decided to do it on an aluminum foil. You guys don't have to do it this way. You can do it however way you want, but this is the way that I decided to do it for this video. And now we are ready to add paint into our thinning medium and the first color that I like to start with is titanium white so I'm going to add a little bit onto my brush and mix it into my thinning medium and I want to make sure that I mix it very well in other words you want to make sure that the thinning medium is completely tinted by the color To aid the process of mixing, I'm going to add just a few drops of thinner and this is going to allow the thinning medium to thin out just a little bit and it's going to easily, easily mix in the paint. Now the next color that I'm going to add is yellow white 08 and I'm going to use just a little bit of this color so definitely less than um, the white because I don't want my paint to be my paint mix to be extremely yellow. I just want to add a hint of yellowy tone and I only do this because I just feel like that's the right color. I don't necessarily have an answer for you as to why I add um the yellow white I just really love the results anyway we are now ready to add our pigmented thinning medium and I am going to use a flat and clean cosmetic wedge and I'm going to apply this all over my kit you want to make sure that when you're doing this that you get into all of the cracks all of the creases just everything just treat it like when you're varnishing a doll because you're done with it or, or when you're sealing the doll just just treat it the same way this is nothing special other than just adding more color into your vinyl um, so don't get nervous just treat it the same way as you would when you're sealing a doll once you are done applying the thinning medium onto your doll. You can go ahead and bake it 
And here are the sign gestures I just gave on my video is just to say that I like to apply the thinning medium onto the front of the face and then I bake it and then um, once the doll has cooled, I go ahead and I apply it to the back of the head and then I bake it. I don't know why I do that, but I guess I just like it that way. Um, anyway, you wanna go ahead and apply this thinning medium to the rest of your limbs. Um, and if there's a torso, don't forget to do that. And if there's a belly plate, don't forget to do that as well. But yeah, I really wanted to share that with you guys. And if you guys try this technique out, let me know how it works out for you. Go ahead and leave a comment. Or if you have any questions, one thing I do want to say, because it's something that's coming to mind, is I only do this one time. I don't feel like I need to do this again to lighten up the vinyl. Like I said, if I feel like the vinyl needs more um, neutralizing color, or it needs to be lightened a little bit more I go back to my um, regular paint mix I don't use a thinning medium because I feel like there's only so much thinning medium you can apply to a doll before it's too much and then it starts cracking and probably more damage so anyway that's all I wanted to say but anyway guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye